brought to you by Fibre Fresh Feeds, advanced fibre nutrition for horses. Hi, I'm Jodie Hartstone, Grand Prix dressage rider and practitioner of equitation science. On today's episode of Equine TV, we're going to talk about horses that are sensitive to the girth and leg. One of the hardest things for a horse is that it needs to be very habituated to the girth pressures here, but yet ultra sensitive to leg pressures which lay right beside the girth. In the breaking in process, we have to make sure that we fully habituate the horse to the girth pressure so it doesn't become girth shy or cold backed. And then once we're riding the horse, we need to keep it very, very sensitive to our leg pressure, but not overly or hypersensitive like some horses can become. I'm going to show you today how to make the horse less sensitive to the girth if it's a cold backed horse and how to also make it less sensitive to the leg if it's a hypersensitive or hyperreactive horse to the leg aids. When you girth up a horse for the first time, it's really important to habituate the horse to girth pressure and not allow him to buck. If you simply girth the horse up tight and let him free in a round pen, he may learn to buck and keep that behaviour up for the rest of his life because you will be evoking the flight response. A much better way to deal with things is to girth the horse up slowly and making sure you can step the horse back lightly and obediently from the rein aid and the whip aids here. So pushing back on the rein, pulling forward on the rein, girth them up and then even putting your hand under the girth can help a little bit too. Stepping them forward and back and forward and back to get rid of the influence of the girth and make the horse concentrate on the rein aids. We call this overshadowing and it will get rid of most of the bucking response of the horse. If you have a horse that's overly sensitive to your leg aids, it's best to rub your legs along the horse's side and overshadow by stepping the horse back with the rein aids. Again, rubbing your leg on the side and stepping back from a rein aid at the same time so that your leg contact doesn't initiate a run forward or tense response. I'm Jodie Hearthstone. Thanks for watching this episode of Equine TV. Brought to you by Fibre Fresh Feeds, advanced fibre nutrition for horses.